Hi everyone, uh, this video uh, will focus on a scenario where you have a roof that has wall plates at different levels but the pitches for both uh, surfaces are the same pitch. Uh, just go. So this is the scenario you're faced with basically. Um, your, 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 your knowns or your givens will be, you're, you're going to know the distance from here to here which is the uh, total span from outside the wall plate to outside the wall plate measured level measured on the level so uh, that's the situation you'd be faced with and you would know the pitch here and you know the pitch here which in this exercise is the same which would be the case in lots of cases with these types of roofs so um, th there's a formula here that uh, we're going to go into that I came up with that uh, that will solve uh, the situation basically um, so as you can end up getting the correct two rafters on the ground before you erect the roof at all. So we'll just go into that here now. So the first thing you have to do is you find you have to find the actual difference measurement wise uh, in the difference between the two wall plate levels. So that's the first thing that's going to be done here. That's illustrated here now in the animation what it is I'm saying. That's once you get that um, you will be using that figure or that measurement uh, to establish uh, you know the run distance of the larger common rafter that you see there. Um, uh, here is um, the uh, the major run uh, is is what we're after. Um, if we if we need to uh, establish uh, our common rafter length, uh, so if we can get that, then we're well on our way then to f um, cut uh, being able to cut the two rafters on the ground. Um, this animation here at the moment just to state that yeah remember this is for a roof where both pitches are the same for both the shorter rafter and the larger rafter so here I have an animation just showing the uh, right angle triangle that relates to the larger rafter so um, we already have the pitch of that right angle triangle so if as I said if we find the major run then those all we need is two givens basically to solve to get our rafter lens so the um, You'll see the smaller right angle triangle there, of course, that relates to the um, smaller rafter. And of course, I, I, I term that as being the minor run. So I had to come up with two nails for the both runs. So I just came up with major run and minor run. That'll do the job, I guess. So here we're getting into uh, calculating now the actual major run. And uh, there's a formula. This is the formula I came up with here that uh, we are going to use. So to start with, You'll need a scientific calculator and just make sure it's in degree mode. Now you can use your Android phone as well. And um, I'll have a video at the end of this just showing you how to use the Android phone to also uh, put in these. Um, just to uh, uh, how to use the this formula on an Android phone. I'll pop that at the end of this uh, video. So here you have the tan of your plum cut. So um, now the plum cut is is up this end of the rafter so if this is I'll take an example here has been 35 if that's 35 degrees there of course if this was a pitch of 35 the plum cut would be 55 so just want to make this in other words the two of them should add up to 90 okay for a right angle triangle so um, I'm just going to continue here into the rest of the formula so there's the rest of the formula so basically you hit the 10 button you type in the 55 degrees you hit equals to get your answer first that's why I put a comma there and then once you get your answer just multiply it by the difference and remember the difference is this distance here then after you've done that then do this little bit of calculation that's within the brackets first and get the answer to that so in other words whatever that distance which I called x whatever it was I just called it x take x plus the full span this has been the full span here and uh, f again find the answer to whatever's in the brackets first and then whatever that answer is divided by 2 hit the equal sign and that that is your major um, that is your major run so it's, just, it's not a very it's not a very complicated formula really here I did a, 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 a worked example on um, for you to check yourself against because sometimes when you're applying formulas the danger is you might put them in incorrectly or you're not quite using them the way they should be used and now you're wondering you know have you applied it correctly so I've actually prepared an example here that you can check yourself against so I put the formula back on this uh, 
slide as well here so you can have it it's handy to have it on the one slide here and this is the worked example i already have so use that okay so here we're going to um use the calculator on your android phone so the, just hitting the app there the green app there with my thumb and uh, when this uh, calculator comes up the screen comes up you'll see a square uh, about almost about a third of the way down the top of the screen in the middle that little square there just hit that and that'll get you into scientific calculator mode and when you're in scientific calculator mode then you can use that formula so hit the uh, 10 button first then in our case for this example we pick a plum cut of 55 degrees so just tap in 55 and then hit equals and uh, that's your answer so multiply that by the difference on the wall plate levels and in this case uh, the difference on the uh, wall plate levels was two for this example and then hit equals to that and then uh, when you get that answer uh, add on your full span onto that so i just go plus and in our case our full span was seven and then um, hit equals whatever your answer is divide it uh, in by two and hit equals and the answer there is the um, 4.928 uh, is the uh, major uh, run uh, for the larger common rafter okay hope you found that useful this is a version of the um, previous uh, formula we discussed um, so um, yeah and also just making the point there at the bottom that the uh, major run divided by the cost of pitch in degrees will give you the rafter length of course that's the line length of the rafter uh, you'll have to make deductions after that for the ridge board obviously